Chair John Hamilton of Bloomington. And I'm Mary Catherine Carmichael, Director of Public Engagement here at the City of Bloomington. Thanks for being with us. Mary Catherine, um, I think like me, you were shocked and angered by what the U.S. Supreme Court did last month, uh, overturning Roe versus Wade. I think both of those, certainly, but I would add scared to that because mm. I think about all the women and people who are capable of giving birth that this is going to impact and has the potential to change their whole futures, and it breaks my heart. It's, um, it's really staggering. It's appalling. There's a lot of adjectives. Um, we, we've already seen, we, we know the state legislature's coming in soon. We're really worried about what they're mm -hmm. going to do mm -hmm. now that the row protections are gone. Right. And we're already seeing terrible things around the state and the country. But what, 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 what do we think is going to happen with the legislature? Well, you know, uh, you can get upset or you can take action. You know, what do I think is going to happen with the legislature? I think they're going to act quickly. I know that they've mm -hmm. been working on something already. So I would anticipate some pretty quick action on this. Um, and it sounds from what we've heard from Governor Holcomb that he intends to uh, very likely sign off on, on whatever they recommend. So there's that. But again, there are things we can do in the interim and should do in the interim. So. Well, let's talk just a minute about the stakes before we get to what we can do. Because I, um, you know, Indiana is already quite a restrictive state about access to abortion right. and reproductive health care. We have lots of limits that many states do not have. But we're already seeing changes around the country as legislatures are charging ahead. Maybe, maybe access to, to contraception not available. Doctors I see are, are not providing health care because they're worried about what might happen. Right. It's really a, a scary time, as you said. Yeah, the thought about the, uh, the government intervening between a, a patient-doctor uh, yeah. relationship is really mind-blowing, and, and personally, I find it personally offensive. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're at great risk in Indiana. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a very conservative legislature, as you said, a governor ready to sign things. What can we do? Yeah. Well, you know, the ACLU has been organizing um, protests at the State House, which is, of course, uh, where the folks who are going to vote on that this are going to be. So I think it's important to have your voice heard. I also think, um, you know, this started at the federal level, so I think it makes sense to contact your federal legislators, and we can list those uh, and make it easy for people. If you're watching this video, we can add that information yeah. and we'll do that. Um, I think anything you can do to make noise. I think also um, give to those organizations that you know are helping women. It's expensive. Some women are already having to pay for travel or they have to pay for additional tests. Ultrasounds aren't free. That's an additional right. um, barrier for people. So they need help paying for those things. You know, often people who um, are wishing to terminate a pregnancy are doing so because they know they aren't financially capable right. of caring for a child. So to help right. them financially is a, is a gift. Well, look, most of us know someone who's had an abortion. Most, um, uh, there, there are a million reasons that, that people choose. Uh, we are at real great risk in Bloomington, in Indiana, of those choices being taken away by our state legislature. So reach out to state legislators and the governor. Uh, I encourage that. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. There's, there, yeah. there's uh, uh, events happening up in Indianapolis that we hope you can help us out with uh, and be involved. Vote. Use your, use your voice. Use your vote. Your money, as you said. Uh, please get involved. Um, this is a very perilous time for this fundamental right. Never in American history has a fundamental right like this been taken away, and this by five radical Supreme Court justices. So time to act is now. Thank you for all you're doing. I know sure. you're helping us uh, as a city connect up in, up in the State House. And uh, please contact us uh, for more information if you want more. Thank you, Mayor.